there's no use. The knee actuator and bypass circuit are both ruined. The actuator can be fixed, but the circuit needs to be replaced. Oh, having trouble sleeping there? Yeah. I imagine you would. You have had quite the day. This is the machine Faye used when the village was attacked. There was another machine left sitting on the outskirts of the village. Neil Bayer does Ligus? It was yours, right? Just as I thought. The missing pilot from the gear that made an emergency landing in Lahan. And the mysterious woman found wandering lost in the forest. Or actually, one and the same person. Judging from your uniform, I would also say you are with the military, am I correct? Huh. Who are you? I checked the ID tags of the soldiers who died in the attack on Lahan. The design of their tags, the design of your uniform, uh, there is the same. Do not worry. They were given proper burials. But they may not be too pleased to die in a foreign land. Maybe. Does Faye know about you? I, I don't think he's realized yet. Most likely. Faye knows nothing of the world outside of Lahan. I see. So how come? In any case, it is best that we do not pry into each other's pasts anymore. But... Let us just say that I know a little more about the world than most do. Anyways, Ellie, I have a favor I must beg you to do. What is it? Go straight ahead, and you will come to our road. Then just keep going. Would you please leave us while Faye is still asleep? Unfortunate things keep happening around Faye. I would like to protect him if possible. I do not want him caught up in any vain struggles. I am also saying this for your benefit. Ellie, you do not belong here. Go back to your family. Um, I... Do not worry. I will not tell Faye what your true identity is. I will just tell him you went to meet up with your family. No, it is not that. I did something terrible to him. So, I, I want to apologize. Something terrible? Faye told me it was our fault that your village was destroyed. Faye kept saying, if only they had to come. Then, I called Kay a foward, coward because he was trying to escape from the responsibility. But, in fact, it was me who was trying to escape from taking the blame. If I hadn't crash-landed there, we'd also be living peacefully now. All those innocent people wouldn't have been caught up in that tragedy. But, I accused Faye. You are a rarity. I did not expect your people would ever think like that. To your people, surface dwellers are nothing more than domesticated animals, are they not? The shepherd, Abel took control of the surface dwelling lands, assessing the right to give life and death unto them as they see fit. Exactly. Yet, you seem to feel responsibility towards Faye and the villagers. Why is that? I don't know myself. At Jugard, I was taught the surface dwellers were stupid and base, and that is why we have to control them, but... But upon meeting Faye, something about him made you feel differently. Yes. He's no different than you are. You are. In fact, he seems more powerful. He possesses something, something we don't. He also risked his life to save me, twice. Most of your people would feel ashamed at receiving such an act. Yet, you are grateful to Faye. It's probably because of my father. He had an open mind to surface dwellers. My nanny was a surface dweller. No one knew about her, though. Besides, I am the same thing as Faye. The same? No, nothing. Never mind. I think I understand. I am sorry. After just saying we should not pry. It is my nature, you know. My wife says I am too persistent and that I talk too much. But personally, I do not think I talk too much. Well, I don't think anyone actually thinks they talk too much or they'd stop talking as much. It's probably best if you return to your home and your country. You really should not be here. I'll return to headquarters, but then what? You are worried. Worrying is natural. Even I used to worry once, you know. Oh, Satan. Anyway, let me hand over to tell Pei. You had better be going now. Has Ellie gone yet?
Oh. So you were awake. Yeah, I woke up midway, so I only heard the part part of what you two were discussing. Ow, I'm getting his voice all wrong. Ellie, so that's what she is. Faye, she is... I know. It's not Ellie's fault. What happened to the village is all my fault. I took out all my pent-up feelings on Ellie. I'm the one who should apologize. Faye, do not blame yourself. It was not your fault either. You were just trying to protect the village. Thanks, Doc. By the way, how is everyone from the village going? I'm assuming that means doing. Do not worry. Yui is taking care of them. I told her to leave soon. And... I take them to a certain place. They should be safe for a while. So just worry about yourself for now. Okay, Doc. Now, to think what we should do next. Shall we leave this forest and head for the desert town of Tazil? We may learn what Ave and Kizlev are up to. Not to mention getting some parts for Wintal. The leader of... Of a vet is not going to sit back and let the other night's fiasco be go unpunished. So, are both Kislev and a vet bad people then? I'm really confused. a big thing. What is that? Can we see the gear from up there? I would assume it is an aerial battleship from Ave. An aerial battleship? I never heard of Ave having anything like that. Of course, it does not come from Ave originally. Most likely it belongs to the Gilbert forces stationed in Ave. Gilbert? Special forces from the Sacred Empire of Solaris known as the Gelba. I am sure you have heard of something about them. They are an organization providing large-scale military aid to the Kingdom of Ave. They showed up at Igna several months ago. Until then, Ave was being routed by Kislev. But with Gelber's help, they have managed to regain half their losses. Wait, so the Gelber are resurrecting people? They are now expanding their territory and gathering resources buried in the ruins. I've heard the village elders talk about it. Is Ellie part of that? Quite possibly so. The group had superior technology and power. It is rumored they had... They are here solely to get the resources of the ruins. I'm surprised they are using something as powerful as that ship. It must be to suppress the re recent border skirmishes. So they're fighting the Kislev Empire? Yes. It seems they have found, a, found ruins on the northern edge of Ave. Those ruins are under a 500 year old temple. Three weeks ago, Kislev took over the ruins. Most likely they are fighting over that. I guess we're going to this town. Maybe. Get me in. Hey. Set. Ha. Ha. Oh dang! I thought that was killed. Hey. I like him. Oh wow, he's also got like a lot more hit points than me, so he's obviously stronger. He's level 5 with 200 hit points and 41... How? I want his class! And we have arrived in Dazzle.
this is Dazzle. Yes, that is right. The desert town of Dazzle. This town's lively. This is the center for all excavations in Ave. People come from all over Ignis to try and find resources buried in the ruins around here. We should be able to find out what both Ave and Kislev are up to here. We also have to gather things we need to repair Wintal. Repair Wintal? Yes. We must exchange the broken parts to fix Wintal. Otherwise, it will not be able to function at all. There is an ethos workshop in the southern part of the town. Let us go there, Fay. Yeah, okay, dog. Let's check this place out, then. I'm actually going to go ahead and save. Because that's a good place to stop, I think. So tune in next time while we fix Wintal and um, investigate Dazzle. Or maybe I can't save on the world map. Okay, never mind. Kind of figured that would work. Hey, man. I'm not afraid of the Ave. Okay, yeah. Save is not an option currently. So where would I find a save point, theoretically? Not in here. Oops. <laughs> that is obviously also not the right way. It still amazes me that I can't save on the world map. I've always been able to save on the world map. In every square game ever. Okay, let's go ahead and just do this logically. This site is actually not even a site. I mean, it's not like an actual town. It's just something they built in the desert because there were ruins here. And when the ruins are gone, they'll move on. It's like nomads. No, that's the exit. I'm, 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 I'm on to you. I'm on to you. Apparently, all is clear. Found a pseudo secret. Not really a secret, I don't guess, but I didn't know I could go this way. So it's a secret to me. Uh huh. Uh oh. That's amazing. Do we dig it right next to the t right next to town too? This is an ever run excavation site. Machines and gears found here are valuable resources that can turn the tide of the war. They are indisputable to the war effort. Anyway, Faye, let us move on. There are more pressing matters to do than talking and taking in the sights. Oh, 
What do you have? Things I don't care about. So, uh, seriously, where's, like, the end? I'm assuming the save point will be in the end. That would make sense, right? Right? Right, Damiel. Thank you. Sand buggy is a special type of vehicle designed for desert terrain. Your stars will not get stuck in the sand. You really need them for long desert trips. I see. Well, then we'll come again later. Well, I don't actually want a sand buggy. I want the inn! <laughs> Game, you're forcing me to play this for longer than I want to. That's the exit. That's a sand buggy shop. Move. That's like the first place I went into. Is there anything on that wall? Oh, there is. when Big Joe was here trying to drink in base. Can't you all shut up? <laughs> Who do you think you are? I don't care if you're Big Joe or Big Schmo. You don't mess with me. <laughs> yeah, you sure talk, Big. Can you dig for treasures as good as you talk? What's that you're saying? You're so tough. Always looking for junk laying around. Why don't you do something more productive for once? If you ask me, you're a big put. Hey, stop it. This guy's trouble. He's looking wild. Oh, shut up. This is such a trap. <laughs> That's right. Run home to mama, little boys. Really? Damn you. You'll keep. You'll keep? What the heck does that mean? Why? This man sure likes to make his presence felt. Found the bloody end. What the heck? Erg. They found the end and I still can't save the game. Now that's just terrible. Okay, fine. Trying to find the shop that what's his face told me was here. Maybe 
least at the south end. Talk to you. It sure is. These are remarkably calm people. They bust into their house and they're like, you know, I heard a rumor. house. Move, little girl. Try to leave your house. Gosh, she must be bored. She just walks back and forth forever. That's terrible. Save point. Okay, found it. Woohoo! So, I'll go ahead and save here. Um, I, I will see you guys next time when I continue playing this awesome game. Um, I really do like this game so far, I have to say. This game is fan freaking fantastic. But, the save points are a little hard to find. They hide them from you. It's a scavenger hunt. It's very appropriate, because I'm in a place where they dig up ruins. Awesome. But anyway, um, I will see you all next time when I continue this game. Thank you for tuning in as always, and ha continue to have a good year leading up to Christmas, I guess.